we need to work out on what are truly the benefits of being a UNWTO affiliate member. And I have just put in here what the leaflet uh, says, and I think it's important for all of us to have a clear understanding of why are we in this organization? What can we get from this organization? And what, what can we bring to it? And uh, for instance, we can gain access to worldwide strategic intelligence, uh, network with fellow uh, members to develop business opportunities. I think networking is a very important tool in this organization. Exchange information on good practices. Interact with uh, government members on policy issues. Provide, obviously, input on global strategies. We are very well positioned in the marketplace. We are very close to what's happening in the marketplace. We can bring a lot of input in that. Promote uh, sustainable and responsible practices in accordance with the Global Code of Ethics. Get tourism positioned as a priority for international development agencies. Uh, sometimes we don't get in the tourism industry the recognition that we deserve. And we can do something about it, all of us together. Share knowledge that helps promote accessible, competitive and sustainable tourism. Uh, support the organization's uh, research. We have uh, a lot to bring in there. And demonstrate leadership and improve our image being part of a UN agency. So as far as the membership evolution, I was referring before to um, the new 65 new members from 27 different countries, uh, which are part of the five UNWTO regions that have joined us uh, this year. And uh, I would like to perhaps go to the list of new members in the organization. Uh, remember that the General Assembly, during the course of this meeting, and whenever the agenda point uh, comes in place, will have to ratify this membership. But all these members have been approved by the Executive Council, and according to the procedures of the organization, they will be ratified today or in these following days by the General Assembly. So, just to finish, uh, perhaps looking into how we have evolved. I mean, when you look at these new 65 members, 34 of them come from the European region and 21 from the Americas. And definitely those two regions are clear clearly leading the ranking of new affiliations. So we still have a lot to do in regions like Africa, the Middle East and Asia Pacific. And I think in this respect, the regional commissions uh, would need to help us to introduce members, affiliate members. And that's why I think from the Secretariat point of view, there is a lot of work to do in interacting with the regional commissions of the organization to bring in more members, not only from those regions, but also from the more mature regions. But we still have a good number of uh, potential members who are not in the organization and that I certainly believe that will enrich the work of the organization if they would join us. Nevertheless, there has been a positive affiliate member evolution in the last uh, years. Uh, this is uh, showing uh, more or less the evolution and as you can see we had ups and downs. This is now reflecting the net growth where we bring in those that have joined and those that have left, and they leave us a balance right now of 358 members, which is the highest membership. Although I don't necessarily believe in growth for the sake of growth, I think we need to grow in a targeted way. But nevertheless, I think this is a good achievement, and I'm, I, I know and I want to give my recognition to Carlo Romero in the Secretariat, because a good part of this new 65 uh, members in the organization are a result of his hard work with all these potential members. I think we need to go back. If, if we are 358, I think we need to ask ourselves who are we and where are we? Uh, um, this is the split between the three councils. Uh, so 55% of our members will fall under what we could say the category of business council. 24% of our members will be Education Council and 21% of our members Destinations Council. I don't think, however, that we need to build uh, bricks of wall amongst the councils, quite the opposite. I think that councils need to work together very much, and particularly uh, between uh, business and destinations, sometimes there is a very thin line to determine whether during one or the other. Uh, 
In terms of uh, main field of activity, uh, there you have the split. We have a big uh, range, a uh, big variety of members, and I think that's that's what makes affiliate membership of the organisation so rich. We have education and training. We have national, regional, uh, local promotion boards. We have consultants. Consultants. We have obviously the hotel sector accommodation. We have uh, trade associations, professional associations. We have travel agencies, trade fairs, uh, air transport, airlines. Of course, uh, DMOs, destination management organizations, tour operators, mass media, other means of transportation. So a very, very varied uh, constituency in our organization. Uh, talking about the net growth, uh, I think we also need to refer to the fact that in the last two years, uh, actually 37 members of the organization were terminated because they were not complying with the, uh, with the rules. Either they were not paying their duties or they were not complying with basic rules of the organization. So actually in the, um, I don't know what it is. I might be pointing somebody else and laser is not good pointing people at, so I just uh, give up on that. But uh, in the, the um, yellow line on the top, shows the new, the, the total number on a cumulative basis of affiliate members. Uh, that, that gives us the net, but the lines below, that is the blue and the red line, are giving us what has happened in this two-year term in the different uh, executive councils. So the first one will refer to uh, 2005, where 26 new members came on board and 12, which is the red line, left the organization. If we move to June 2006, which was our executive council in Quito, 10 new members joined, three were terminated. In the executive council in Algiers, in uh, the end of 2006, six new members joined and 15 were terminated. And in the more recent executive council that we had in Tunisia earlier this year, 29 new affiliate members joined and four left. And that's what gives us a balance of um, 21 net, right? Which is the figure that we see there if we deduct the new members with, the, uh, with those that left. So that, that gives you more or less an idea of who we are, where we are, and how we have evolved.